Alexandria was the greatest city the Western world had ever seen. People from all nations came here to live, to trade, to learn. On a given day, these harbors were thronged with merchants, scholars, tourists. It's probably here that the word cosmopolitan realized its true meaning of a citizen, not just of a nation, but of the cosmos. To be a citizen of the cosmos. Here were clearly the seeds of our modern world. But why didn't they take root and flourish? Why instead did the West slumber through a thousand years of darkness until Columbus and Copernicus and their contemporaries rediscovered the work done here? I cannot give you a simple answer, but I do know this. There is no record in the entire history of the library that any of the illustrious scholars and scientists who worked here ever seriously challenged a single political, or economic, or religious assumption of the society in which they lived. The permanence of the stars was questioned. The justice of slavery was not. Science and learning in general with the preserve of the privileged few, the vast population of the city had not the vaguest notion of the great discoveries being made within these walls. How could they? The new findings were not explained or popularized. The progress made here benefited them little. Science was not part of their lives. The discoveries in mechanics, say, or steam technology, mainly were applied to the perfection of weapons, to the encouragement of superstition, to the amusement of kings. Scientists never seemed to grasp the enormous potential of machines to free people from arduous, repetitive labor. The great intellectual achievements of antiquity had few practical applications. Science never captured the imagination of the multitude. There was no counterbalance to stagnation, to pessimism, to the most abject surrender to mysticism. So when, at long last, the mob came to burn the place down, there was nobody to stop.